Okay. I mean, I was super happy with the queue because I remember Tinsel Geddon, which was <laughs> That's what a I was nightmare. thinking about. I was like, Tinsel Geddon, I didn't get anything. <laughs> Tinsel Yeah, that getting. website crashed for like three hours. And by the time <laughs> yes. it, like most of us could get back in, it was gone. Absolutely. Um, and I think that was the most, most pre-orders I had for anything was Tinsel Geddon because I usually don't go heavy on. Um, now this, I, I ended up with, I think, 4,700 and in personal sales last night, which was fantastic. But people just, it was like 20 minutes before the launch. I'm like, why are you people awake texting me you need things? Like, would you normally text me at 2 a.m.? No, but I wasn't, I wasn't saying no, I was there for the party. So, all right, um, so let's chat for a few minutes, shall we? I have a couple things I wanna share with you. Um, and I think we all would agree that it was a pretty positive launch. Um, but I have heard one of the reasons I want to, I want to tell you about some upcoming things, but one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you guys about this is I heard some people say today something that made me almost like lose my breath. And they said, oh my gosh, I've reached my goal for September. Oh. And I was like, oh my goodness, we need to talk. Because here's no, you the thing. ride that wave. <laughs> here's the thing, you guys, you need to understand where we are going as a company right now. And you need to understand what the opportunity is. If you are content where you are, by all means, be done for the month. But if you have any ambition or aspiration in you, please do not stop after 45 minutes into the month because <laughs> this was one of many opportunities this month. And quite honestly, this was an opportunity. This was an added bonus, right? Um, other added bonuses that we have. We have NFL. Now, how many of you have big pre-orders for that? Yes. Yeah. Now, how many of you don't have big pre-orders, but know people that might be interested in NFL warmer because there will be some available after the pre-order. Okay. That NFL launch is huge. And the timing right now, now all of our diehard NFL fans jumped on it, you know, in the, in the late spring, early summer when that came out, but we are going maybe into football season, right? At least, you know, we're drafting fantasy football. Who really knows what that's going to look like? But um, that's when people really are thinking about that things. Plus, it's a fantastic holiday gift. So people are willing to drop that kind of money on a L licensed LTO item when it becomes available thinking about Christmas. So we've got NFL coming. We've got, and none of this is NDA. You guys know all this. If you were on, if you don't know any of this, you might have missed it on Heidi Norville's live, but I'm going to try only to cover those things. Um, we've got NFL. We've got NHL. Did you see they showed a couple of the hockey warmers on Heidi Norville's Facebook live? If you don't know who Heidi and Orville are, and I don't say that like mockingly, I say that honestly because some people don't. They're the owners of the company, um, Heidi Norville Thompson, and they are super down to earth. Um, in fact, often when we have calls with them, they're going through the Taco Bell drive through um, on the way and we have to delay our call a little bit so they can get their Taco Bell. Um, they're super down to earth and they go live on Facebook the last night of the month and it's, they do some shout outs, they, you know, um, share some family things typically, but they also often will share some of the upcoming things for the month and um, have some actual first time photos. Um, and so last night they showed a couple of the NFL warmers. I was glad Orville was able to figure out that was the Carolina Panthers. Um, <laughs> and they shared um, some of the NHL warmers. I don't know most, I'm not a hockey person. I don't know most of the, the NF, NHL teams, um, but I do know that there's a huge following for them and for our Canadians up North, a massive following. So um, they also talked about, and if you got the SFR product kit, you've had a sneak peek at some of this, depending upon which kit you got. The Cider Mill Clean LTO launch that's coming. Yeah. Um, now, can I, I know. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that. I love Cider Mill. Um, and I also love any year that I don't have to cheat on Scentsy with like Mrs. Myers or um, Bath and Body Works. So. That is, um, that's always a bonus. Okay. Recommendation on that cider mill. If you have the cider mill products, we don't have a date for the launch, right? It's going to be an LTO sometime this month. But if you got those products, if you registered early for SFR and you chose to purchase a product kit and you got those last week or this week, 
they've shown up or some people got them earlier, I guess. Um, if you've got those, you might want to consider putting those into the hands of your customers. A couple ways you could do that. You could offer borrow bags. Now, I wouldn't recommend you give them the whole thing of dish soap. You might not get it back. Um, but you could maybe put the dish soap into another container and then just give them enough for, uh, you know, one day's use or whatever. Or you can turn that all into samples or I'm going to turn about half of it into samples because I want the rest personally. And um, you can make some um, sponge samples and you can get those out to your customers. Some counter clean samples, you can do those either in little containers or you can do those in the rags, the, um, the disposable wiping rags. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? They're the blue and white ones. I've got a video I'll post on the page about how to do that. Um, you can get those in the hands and you can collect, start collecting some pre-orders from those products because people are going to want them. So that is an added bonus if you have those products. We also have the Bring Back My Buddy LTOs launching this month, which are going to be hot. And who knows what else? There might just be a few other surprises. But aside from that, September is always a really, really big month, you guys. Last month, some people were ready for fall fragrances, but a lot of people were not ready yet. And September is when, like, September 1st turned to pumpkin everything for me, you guys. It's like, it's on. Apple and pumpkin everything. And a lot of people are like that, and they're ready to go to those scents. So, in fact, I woke up, when I got up, I was like, oh, it's pumpkin day. And um, Lauren's like, no, nope, that's November 1st. I was like, no, it's not. It starts today. Um, so make sure that you are reaching out to all those customers because they want the fall things now. Now's the time. They're like starting to think about it. So, and it doesn't end just with your sales, you know, your parties you put in um, last night. So the LTO opportunities this month are huge, but the traditional sales opportunities that come in September are even bigger. September is typically, when we look at the, the fall selling months, we typically see a 40 to 70% increase in our numbers starting in September. September, October, November, from what the spring and summer look like. So if, if we had a, we'll say a $1 million month in June, I would expect um, we, we would be, have millions of dollars. We would, we would probably in September be close to 2 million. I'm just throwing out numbers. Um, and by November, October, November, I would expect us to be closer to 3 million, okay, um, as a group. Now our numbers are much higher than that right now um, based on the growth we've seen the past year. So, I mean, we are, we are breaking records left and right within our group. But um, I want you to be thinking about when you look at where your teams are, when you look at where your personal sales are, I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, I beat June. I want you to put your brains into September mode. I don't want you to be like, wow, September 1st, I met my goal. I want you to look at what the big potential and possibility is. And so we wanna give you every, every opportunity to do that this month. So we have a couple fun things that we're doing. Um, not only is it really hot for sales right now, obviously, you guys, I'm on a Wendy new gas high after listening to her. Woo, she was so full of energy last hour. Um, not only are sales really high, but the recruiting opportunity is too, because, oh my gosh, we did a uh, $15.3 million company wide in 45 minutes this morning. Okay. Let that soak in. $15.3 million in 45 minutes this morning. Our previous one day high was, gosh, 11 something, I believe. And our previous one hour high, there's some graphic floating around. Karen was, posted it, Karen. What? <laughs> they totally couldn't hear you. But Dan posted it on Facebook. Hold on, let me. Yeah, I was going to say, I know it was posted. I didn't like, see it. I posted all of the actual numbers. I shared it with my team so I can pull it up real fast. Yeah, I would say, I know, um, I know there's a graphic floating around. Biggest but... hour ever was 5.6 million. Biggest day ever was 11.5 million. And that, that biggest, biggest four, day ever, the one that you just said was 11.1 .1 million. 11.1. One. Um, we passed, I'm trying to think whether I can say this or not. I think Orville said this, so I think I can, I'm, I'm safe to say it. We passed this past week, all of our 2019 sales as a company. 
So we've sold more in 2020 in by, by the end of August that we did all of 2019. And 2019 was not a bad year, you guys. The opportunity right now is so, so hot. And I want you to take advantage of it because quite honestly, I want it to be a blessing to you and your families. 2020, I mean, many of us are ready to hit the fast forward button on it. Anyone with me on that? But let's fast forward and take advantage of every opportunity we can. You might as well maximize everything that you can between now and the end of December, whether you use that to have a really amazing holiday season for your family, whether you use that to um, pay off some bills, whether you use, no matter what you're going to use that for, whether you use that to take a vacation when the world makes that a reality, whatever you're going to use that for, let's take advantage of this and let's really maximize it because it would be a really a shame in my opinion for you not to um we we're talking about our leadership retreat for next year which we hope happens um but our theme is surfs up and when you think about a big wave coming um the surfers say surfs up and surfs up is actually a call to action to jump on the wave and ride it and you guys have a huge wave in front of you right now. And you can drown under it, you can tread water, or you can ride this wave. Your businesses will be in a completely different place if you do, completely. If you, if you are a certified, essential or certified consultant, it is not outside the realm of possibilities to be a star consultant, certified, star, certified, star consultant, superstar consultant, or director by the end of the year. If you are a star consultant or um, superstar consultant director is absolutely within your grasp. And if you are a director, many of you have told me, like, um, told me I was crazy when I've told you in the past few months, looking at your numbers, that a promotion was imminent. Um, Amy Dernan, I, I'd be calling you out on that one. Um, but I, I will tell you, I, I have one thing I'm pretty good at is reading the numbers. And where we're going this fall is, is up. So I don't want you to miss it. So a couple things we're doing. We're doing Taco Tuesday every Tuesday. So what is Taco Tuesday? We're going to talk about our business every Tuesday. Um, we're going to do it in different ways. We're going to jump on here for an hour and we're going to talk about um, different ways to grow your business. We're going to talk about um, recruiting. We're going to, I hate the word recruiting, you guys. That's not my first choice of word. We're going to talk about team building. We're going to talk about things that leaders <coughs> do. Um, we're going to talk about ways to, to raise your PRV. We're going to talk about all sorts of things. Um, and we're going to give you guys a chance to interact as well. Then every Tuesday on our group page, the Scent Warriors group page, which y'all are, are invited to be part of. If you're not, you're all invited to be on that page. We are going to be, um, we have some fun taco boxes. Um, that's all I can say. They're super fun though. Oh my gosh, they're the best boxes we've ever done. And um, they're going we're raffling three of them off every week to people um from everyone who's recruited the week prior so three of them went out today and then i had to sh send shannon carter one because she is my taco girl and it was her ninth anniversary so i sent her one too yes i was going to say we have some of our winners on here today i see lori um i don't even i don't look i'm only looking at page one but yeah you guys the taco boxes are so fun okay so we're going to do that every Tuesday. We're also going to talk about excuse busting. Um, I know lots of you are unsure of how to have a join conversation, unsure of how to take advantage of the host flip opportunity or where to start. And I'm going to use Lori as an example. Lori is someone who has had incredible success um, flipping hostesses and building team members the last couple weeks. And it was a mind shift for her. As she said, I had to learn how to ask. I had to learn how to talk about it. And then whew, Wow, it's amazing what happens, right, Lori? Yeah, seriously. Okay, the other thing that we're starting today that I think is really a value to you guys in your business, if you are in my group, if I am your superstar director, then you received a text message from me today, or you should have. Now, it's going to come from a phone number that is not my phone number. If you have my phone number in there, it looks like my phone number, but it's a little different. The last four are the same, but it's a little different. Um, we are doing a program called Fall Forward. It is a 30, well, it's the month of September, so 30-day program. It is um, geared towards all consultants. It's really geared towards more towards essential to star probably, but it's a fantastic refresher for everyone. 
and you have to opt into this program because I'm not going to spam you with text messages every every few days if you don't. The, e the email, the invitation, or the text went out inviting you all to the, the program. You have to opt in by replying to the text with the word fall, F-A-L-L, -L, nothing else. No hearts, no leaves, no pumpkins, no, oh my gosh, fall, 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 um, nothing like that. Just the word fall. If you did something different, I've tried to correct them, but if you haven't done it yet, um, reply with the word fall. What is this program? So we've geared up with about, I think there's about 20 SSDs, superstar directors who built the program. And it is a one month program. We don't wanna overwhelm you during the fall selling season, but we wanna give you extra tools and resources to help you, okay? Um, and then Shannon, I will address that in a minute, your question about if, if I am not your superstar director, I'm gonna tell you how you can opt in. Um, so we built this program, it is, based on text messaging and a Facebook group. Three text messages a week will go out to anyone who opts in. Monday morning, Wednesday morning, and Friday morning. Now, East Coasters, you might not think it's more like late morning because I didn't want it to be too early for the West Coasters, okay? It is only, the text messaging will only go to those in the US and Canada. It will not allow me to text anyone in Australia, New Zealand, or the UK, and that's probably okay because you would get it in the middle of the night if we did that. Um, then there is a Facebook group. Tomorrow, if you've opted in, you will get two text messages. The only time you will get two text messages is tomorrow. One is the welcome text message with a little video we put together. Mm -hmm. Everything is short and sweet. I think the video is about three minutes and an invitation to join the Facebook group. And then there is also um, a second text that will come about 45 minutes or an hour later that has um, your first training piece and your first video. So three times a week, you're gonna get a text with a training on something that we really think will help you grow your business this month and a challenge, okay? Um, topics are all across the board. There's one on fundraising, there's one on getting over fear, there's one on how to have joined conversations and um, one on how to grow your social circle, your expand your customer base, expand your, you know, they're all different topics and we've tried to make them as concise as possible. You can watch them anytime you want. They're all YouTube video links for the most part. You can watch them at your convenience and do the challenge. The Facebook group is an added resource. Um, you can ask questions, you can get some motivation. We are linking up about four superstar directors in each Facebook group have invited people. So you'll have an opportunity to network with some people that you might not normally see, faces that you don't normally know, um, and learn from some other leaders as well. There is no actual live call. Some of you have said, oh my gosh, calls every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, what time? I can't do that with my schedule. You don't have to. It's a text message that you can <laughs> watch the video at your convenience. Does that give you guys a little peace of mind? I'm not asking you to do three calls a week with me. Well, maybe I will ask you for that, but not in that program. Okay. Um, so, but the program is really great. Um, there is, there are some benefits to completing it. So you're going to want to do that. There is a place on the Facebook group where you can post when you've completed the challenge or ask questions, or if you need more resources, or if you're lost, you're confused, whatever. But we really think it's going to be something that helps you grow your business, but you will not receive it if you don't opt in. Okay, I, I, there's a lot of privacy laws out there and that kind of thing. And I will not be spamming you on an ongoing basis unless you opt in. Okay, um, if you don't ever want to receive a text message from me, you can reply stop and you will never get a message from me. But that also means you won't get any other programs that we do either or any other fun things that we do. Um, if you don't want to participate in this program, just don't reply and it won't opt you in. So that's a little bit about Fall Forward. Does anyone have any questions about that program before we kind of move on a little bit? You can put them in the chat if you want, or you can, oh, oh, okay, wait, hold on. Here's a question I know you have. What if I am not your superstar director? So if you are part of my downline, on my page for my superstar directors, I have shared the information on how, and they can share with their people on how to join, but I'm gonna tell you too. Let me grab the phone number. Maybe. Hold on. Let me let me grab it. So I if you right want here. what? 
so if you want to join and you are not part of if you're in my downline but not part of my um you belong if you belong to another superstar director in our downline that's the easiest way to say and you want to join it is open to you as well um you text the word fall f-a-l-l -L, just the word fall don't put any little i mean don't put any little leaves or pumpkins or hearts or anything like that to the number 843 will someone put this in the chat when i type it or when i say it you're going to type the word fall f-a-l-l -L, doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase to the number 843 867 2735. Okay. 843-867-2735. And it will opt you in. And then you will automatically get them. Um, you can choose at any point if you don't want to get them anymore. You can, you know, choose to either ignore them or um, thank you very much. Um, you can choose to ignore them or you can choose to opt out your choice. And do I live in South Carolina? Yes, currently I do. I live on Hilton Head Island, which is where I lived before. And then we moved to Houston for a couple of years to be closer to my youngest neurosurgeon, but we are back on Hilton Head right now. So, but yes, I have had that number for, oh my goodness, all my kids were born in Beaufort County um, from age, my oldest is 23 and my youngest is 14. So we lived here back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So yes. Um, Okay, so that is a little bit about Fall Forward. That's a little bit about Taco Tuesday. Talk about our business every Tuesday this month. Um, we want to give you as many resources as we possibly can. We also want to make sure that um, you're hearing from people. I think you can start boiling the chicken. Or not. Um, we want to give you as many resources as possible this month. We want you to take advantage of everything that you possibly can, but we don't over, want to overwhelm you. So when you start to feel overwhelmed, pick one thing and just keep going with it, okay? You don't have to do it all. You don't have to do it all, all the time. But these are here for you guys, for those of you who want more from your business, all right? Um, a couple other things that we do on an ongoing basis. I know some of you join every week. Some of you join when you can. Every Monday night, we do a leader's lounge and it is open to our star consultants and higher. And it is a one hour Zoom. You can join us for 10 minutes or an hour. It's your choice. Um, we do it at nine o'clock Eastern. And I know that's late for those on the East Coast, but that's early for those on the West Coast. So we have to find a time that works for everyone. And um, if you are not on our leadership page and you are a star consultant or higher, because I know we have a lot of promotions, um, ask your sponsor or your director to add you. And all the information about that is there. We also, every Wednesday, we do um, Work It Wednesday. And Work It Wednesday is just an opportunity to come and network and chat and idea share while you work your business for an hour. We do it at noon Eastern and at 8 p.m. Eastern. And again, super relaxed, show up in your pajamas, um, doesn't matter with your hair in a messy bun, I don't care, um, however you want and just show up and there's a lot of idea sharing that goes on. If it works in your schedule to join for 10 minutes, fine. If it works to join for an hour, fine. But there's a lot of idea sharing and great resources that are shared. Um, and it's really good for community building as well. So these are all options um, for you. What questions do you have? Um, for the stuff we're gonna be doing with the texts, yeah. Can you give us a couple examples of like what kind of challenges there's going to be? Because like I'm still in the field for census right now, so I don't have a lot of like responsive time in the afternoons and whatnot if I need to like do a live or stuff like that. Um, well, let me go and see if I can pull one. Second. I mean, they're all different things and, and you choose what you want to. So I'll, yeah, I can give you an example. Um, so basically every superstar director who's participating um, took one of the days that was something they were passionate about and, and felt strongly about. Um, one of mine is actually um, growing your, um, it's, it's about growing a, a list of people who might be interested in joining the business. And so my challenge for that is I kind of walk you through how to do that, how to come up with that list, Nancy. And so my challenge is actually to, um, 
have one conversation with someone. And that's, you know, in the next three to five days. It doesn't have to be that minute, that afternoon. You, this program is set up that you can work it around your schedule. Okay, perfect. Now, if, if it's the end of October and you're still working on something from September 2nd, you probably aren't going to reap the rewards of completing the program because we're not going to know you completed it, but it still would be a value to your business. Yeah. Okay. But we really did set this up. It is nowhere near as intense as our leadership course. There's no tracker going out to you. We're not, we don't have, you're not going to have an accountability buddy that you have to connect with regularly. It's not super intensive, but it's all things that are going to help you grow your business. And, and quite honestly, it's up to you how much or how little you do. But I'd recommend you do it as much as possible. Who else has a question? You can put it in the chat if you want, or let's see. All right. Um, yes, you can opt in if you haven't heard from your SSD. Absolutely. And um, to give the SSDs um, um, a little bit of grace on this, I. It was very recently that I threw out, this is what we're doing. If you'd like to opt your people in, that's fine. So if you haven't heard from them, please don't take that personally. It's not that they don't want to share with you. They might not even have read my message. So, or seen my post on, on our group SSC page. So, um, so that's that. The other thing that I want to give you all a personal challenge because so many of you did tell me you've reached your goals for the month. Um, I really do think it's, <laughs> Amy's looking scared. Um, I really do think that it is important that you all set a goal and set some, if you don't know where you're going, you're never gonna get there. So especially for those of you who have told me you've already had your best month yet, or for those of you who have told me, oh my goodness, I've already sold 500, I'm done for the month, or I've sold a thousand, or wow, I'm over 2000, or um, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna challenge you to double your best month ever whether your best month was a year from now, a year ago, whether your best month was last month, last May, whenever it was, I'm gonna challenge you to double your best month. And if you hit that goal too early in the month, you should know, you can ask Amy and you can ask Myra, if you hit that goal too early and you come to me, we'll just have a conversation about tripling that, okay? So, but it is something that's definitely within everyone's grasp. And if you aren't sure how to do that, if you don't feel you have tools or resources, or you don't know where to come up with the sales, or you don't feel like your customer base is wide enough, this program is going to teach you some of that thing, those things, but we're also here to help you too. And there's nothing wrong with saying on the group page, I need help with this. Let us give you ideas. Let us, I mean, there's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people in our downline. Lots of great ideas and we can learn from everyone. So share what you're doing that's working and make sure that if you have questions or you feel like you've hit a roadblock that you're asking for help because we can't help you if we don't know all right um my big hairy audacious goal which i have never sold in one month um i think the most i've ever sold in a month is 11. no oh, oh okay let me rephrase that let me rephrase that this is not true i have sold more than this with fundraisers my big hairy audacious goal for this month without any fundraisers is to sell fifteen thousand in personal sales so that's my goal. I'm throwing it out there to the world. I'm almost to five. Um, but if I, can, if I can do that, I'm not asking you guys to sell 15,000. Just take a breath. I'm not asking you, well, maybe Amy and Myra, but, um, <laughs> but um, I'm not asking you to sell that much. But what I am asking you to do is stretch yourself and challenge yourself, okay? Um, strive for your own personal best, whatever that looks like. If your personal best is 200, aim for 400. If it's a thousand, aim for two. If it's, if you've never been active, then let's figure out how to get you active. Whatever it is, like we're here to help. So take advantage of it. Are there any other questions? Are you guys ready to go to sleep? Come on, you guys. Haven't you gotten your second wind yet? There's no, there's no cap to how many people can do the, um, the ball forward thing, right? There is no cap. There is absolutely no, well, I mean, I pay per, per text that goes out, but no, there's no cap. So <laughs> if you are in, um, if you are in Europe or New, Z or New Zealand or um, you are in Australia, you can only participate 
by the Facebook group, but we will also post the challenges on the Facebook group because it won't let Project Broadcast won't let me send um, to anyone outside of our country code, which Canada works because they have the same a traditional looking zip code. Um, so our Canadians are included, but our our other internationals are not for that reason. So any other questions about it? If anyone did not get the um, the invite for it, go double check your text messages. It will not come, my number is similar, but a little different. Mine's 2522735. And this one starts a little bit different than mine does. Okay, Project Broadcast won't let you use your personal cell phone um, to opt people in and to use this. It assigns you a number. So, but you can text me on it. I will get it if you text, if you text me back and forth on it. Okay. Any other questions? Does anyone want to share their goals for the month? Come on, you guys. They don't have to be 15,000. They can be 200. September's always been like a really big month for me. Like the first, I think two Septembers ago, I was like blown away and I did 2000 by the end of the month. And that was the only time I've ever reached it. And then the following, this last September, I did 3,400. That's crazy. And yeah, that's so fantastic. now hearing like double that, I'm just like, just kind of want to go crawl in a hole at this point. Don't crawl in a hole. Because <laughs> I, I have like really worked hard to not be the typical, like that's all like post kind of yeah. person. And so uh, I'm trying to think, how am I going to hit that goal with balancing not like so, overwhelming people to the point where they tune me out. So do you know that I've posted three times in the past 60 days about my Sensi business on my Facebook page? I don't post at all on my profile, except yeah. like once in a blue moon, like when Jack comes out or a new Disney item, I'm like, hey, yeah. if you guys, you know, are, are just Disney people and not really into my group, like, hey, look what I posted. So, but most so, of the time I keep my profile to myself self, and yes. then like my group for my Sensi. So, and the other things you can add in your group, you can add other things of value to keep them engaged and, and participating. It doesn't all have to be sensey. And it could be sensey in an indirect way too, right? Like, I mean, it could be like Rachel Pence showed a really authentic picture of her laundry room the other day and she was like, real life, you know? And she had laundry all over the floor. She is like, she's a mom of lots. Um, but she is, she's got like four or five kids. So um, anyways, don't think that you have to always be you will have more success if you share than if you sell, hands down, especially yeah. on a VIP page and that kind of thing. If you have not been using the third, now I know there are some people who love this and some people who hate it. And we had a conversation about this the other night. Um, and there were definitely some who don't like it. But if you have not been trying the 30 minute party, Facebook party that Heather Gorsuch does, um, it is wildly successful wildly I, I would say Lori Lori will attest to that too I did a um, 30 minute Facebook party last Thursday night and um, wildly successful is it like a live or is it's it a live like it's a 30 minute live it's it's <laughs> simple and I'll tell you what the biggest key the entire thing is I mean the 30 minute live is really important and all that the biggest key to the whole thing is getting little shavings of scents and mailing it to the people so they can smell it ahead of time. There's That's a whole training and I'll post it. You guys, everyone wave at Amy's girls. <laughs> um, there is a, um, there is, Heather did a breakout for reunion on it, but she's also, she's spoken on her leadership group and she's, um, she's got a couple of YouTube videos. I'm more than happy to share the links on our group pages. It is not nearly as overwhelming as you would think. Um, she has a system down that's very COVID friendly and it's not time intensive. I was done in 21 to 23 minutes last Thursday. Um, the only thing I added to the end was I had just gotten my warmer of the month, which I got a little bit later than most people did for whatever reason, because that seems to happen since I moved. Um, and so I actually unveiled it live to show them and that actually boosted my sales. But it is a very, very simple, um, simple party thing. You use what you have, you show what you have, um, you answer questions and, and the ordering is coming in like crazy. So, and um, I, I think if you tried it once, um, you might be shocked. So, all right, Nancy, what, what part of that intimidates you? 
I have ADHD and I've had to stop treatment because of other issues lately. And the biggest problem for me would be like staying on topic. Oh, I totally didn't stay on topic. I squirreled all over the place. So So here's the thing. They don't know any differently, right? They only know what you show them and you just stick to that time frame. And when you're done, you're done. Like, you're like, oh yeah, okay. I squirreled and maybe I missed half of what I wanted to say, but who cares? They didn't know the difference. I could be stuck on the diffusers for 20 minutes though. <laughs> what? what? Then you'd have a party full of diffusers. My husband's sales. playing Xbox and he's like shaking his head violently hearing me say that. So perhaps he wants to help you. <laughs> he already does. He takes catalogs to work. Yeah. He's taking warmers to work. He already helps so a lot. So he could do a party with you. He could do a Facebook live. You'd be amazed. But the one thing that is coming out of these 30 minute parties is massive numbers of bookings and they are so easy to flip the host to join because they're all they're all hitting 500 they're like and it's and then it's a no-brainer to join well why you know you can join for free i'll flip the sales to you and i'll tell you what like when i tell you to aim high for your goal if that means you flipped all of those sales this month and you end up with four new recruits by all means that means you've succeeded it isn't just necessarily what the final PRV number looks like, right? It's about what you've done to grow your business. And that, I think that that's was many the hardest ways. part for me. Like, that's the hardest part for me is getting rid of the PRV. Like, yeah, I just did 500 bucks. I, I just did 500 PRV, but now I'm flipping it to the new. That's okay, though. I can tell you, I know that that's I'm a hard sold. one. And um, on our leadership call, Wendy Newgast was actually just talking about that. She said she was totally a party per- and do you, I don't know if you guys know who she is. Know. She's a superstar director from Southern California, and she's about as high energy of a person as I have ever met in my whole life. Um, and that's what we were talking about at the beginning, if you jumped on. She um, was talking about the fact that, like, that was a struggle for her in the beginning in, the, in that she didn't want to give up the sales. I mean, to her, the business was the sales and she didn't understand really the benefit of having people join to start with. Um, the reality is you will never, when, when you look at someone joining and you look at their community and, and your reach and their reach, if they host a party for you every three months, let's say, and they invite, say, the same, you know, 10 people, 12 people, whatever the case may be. Um, and you might bring in those sales on an ongoing basis. That might be great. There are always ways to expand your customer base. And in, in one of the, the trainings in Fall Forward is a literally a step-by-step how to build a community. So one of the things that when they join they have so many more people that they know that are part of their social circle and their friends social circles and so on and so on and so on that they never exposed you to when they did that party for you every once a year twice a year three times a year four times a year and so the the long-term payout of someone joining far exceeds those personal sales far exceeds those personal sales Um, It is always, plus, aside from that, like, let's just get real. Like, how much can you bless their lives by, by having them join? Like, you never know what someone's going through. You never know what the ups and downs are going to be in their life. You never know when they're going to need that kind of financial assistance. And when you offer them the opportunity to flip a party or the opportunity to join, you never know when that is really going to make a difference for someone. I have seen it over and over again in the past almost 12 years um, since he has come into people's lives at just the right time when they didn't know they needed it, but they really, really did need it. So, and I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. It's absolutely true. So um, Sarah Speechley and I did a breakout a few years, well, gosh, it was probably 2010 at Sensi Family Reunion. And something that she said sitting next to me on the panel has stuck with me till today. And she said, um, it's not your job to prejudge whether Sensi's right for someone. Like you are doing them a disservice if you don't talk to them about it. And I'm not saying push it down their throat. I'm not saying being salesy, being recruitish, you know, that kind of thing. But if you aren't having conversations and listening to people and, um, and listening to those keys about how Sensi can do something for them, um, 
it's up to them whether they decide it's right for them. That's not your decision, that's theirs. And you're I not will. tied to the result. It's not, it's not the end of the world if they don't join. What's the big deal if they don't join? It's not a big deal, right? There's okay. nothing wrong with them not joining. If it isn't right for them, that's fine. But give them that opportunity to decide if it's right for them or not. I will say when I joined, it was with my friend, Karen, you know her, Valerie? Yep. Okay. So she was just like, you host parties all the time. Everybody knows you use it. Everybody knows you love it. Just do it. And I'm like, I just had a baby. Like, I don't know. And she was like, look, just do it. Like, you'll love the stuff. Like, just do it. The kit is worth it. Just do it. Yeah. That was four years ago, last November. I did $200 in sales in the last two days of November. And I did 800 in December. And I've never had a month where I'm not an active. I just like, and there's months I don't even try and I'm fine, you know? So yep. even with someone being hesitant, if they can like tell them, if they can, if they can host their own party successfully every time, there's no reason they can't do it as a consultant because I would never imagine in less than four years, I have almost $45,000 in sales. Even exactly. And how amazing is that? Even, um, I think my, my mom's probably on here. She's either iPhone or iPad probably. Um, like my mom will tell you, I called her and I was like, I have to host a stupid party for someone. Like, I really don't want to do this. Like, seriously, like I did not want to do it. I, I finally decided to join. Um, I was totally a kidnapper when I joined because we got 2.4, we got two ounces of wax and the bars were 2.4 ounces then. So we had these white test, these plastic jars that had white lids on them. And it was a heck of a deal for $99. So I was a kidnapper when I finally, you know, when I joined and I didn't have any intention of doing anything with it. And this business has blessed us over and over and over and over again. Every time I think I understand what my why is and why this business was put in my life, it's pretty much proven to me that that was not the reason and I was wrong. <laughs> so, um, but the blessings are huge. So just don't make assumptions is all I'm saying. I'm not, at, I'm not encouraging anyone to go shove Sensi down their throat, someone else's throat. I'm not encouraging you to go push someone to join. If you have to convince someone to join, they will never do anything with this business. If you have to convince them, if you find yourself trying to convince them, stop the conversation and check yourself because if, if they will never do anything with this business and it isn't right for them. And you don't want them wasting their money. That money could go towards something else. Right. But for many, many, many people, this business is a blessing. So, and people join for all different reasons. People join for the tax benefits, people join um, for the sense of community, people join because they love the product and they, you know, want to earn a commission on their personal sales. People join because they, they see, have big lofty goals and they know that, you know, direct selling is a fantastic way to make that happen. All sorts of different reasons. People join um, because they want to do something fun with their best friend. Like seriously, this business is fantastic when you do it with a friend. How fun is it to earn vacations and trips and things like that and go to reunion and things like that with people that you like, people that you're friends with. So, um, all right, off my soapbox, you guys. All right, all right. Um, uh, so Amy says, I have a hard time because I can't build my inventory. It's um, so expensive. You totally don't have to have inventory. Do you mean to do a Facebook party? Someone comment, Amy, Amy's iPhone, comment and let me know if that's what you mean. You do not have to have inventory in this business. But what you can do is you can collect those individual customer orders as they come in and you can enter them as a party and you can get the host rewards and you can build a product display if you don't have one based on those host rewards over time. But there is no, no, no need to have inventory in this business. That's not how our, our model is built. Let's see. Megan says she's flipped her last eight parties that way. Um, she says, Vicki, wake up. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Okay. Um, anyone else have any questions? See, you guys, lots of people are jumping in and doing this. Um, yes, bro we broke our June record. Um, it, okay, you need info on the 30-minute parties. Um, we, I will put all of the links and she even has links broken down to the things that she uses. 
um, with like an Amazon link and that kind of thing. And she does, it's not like a, uh, she doesn't earn any money. Like if you purchase her Amazon link, it's not that kind of thing. It's just an Amazon list of some of um, Heather Gorsuch's favorite things. So um, I will put all of that in um, on the Facebook group page, the Scent Warriors group page. Um, I will also put it on the SFR page, but we are dwindling down that. Um, and um, that's it. I'll see you guys back here next Tuesday. Opt in for that program if you want to participate. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that happens is you do part of it and you grow your business a little bit and you don't complete it, right? The best that comes from it is you, you participate all month and you grow your business in big ways. Either way, it's a win. All right, have a good night, you guys. Get some sleep. <laughs>